So none of us would be here if it hadn't been for the impact of an asteroid 65 million years ago. That impact completely redirected the course of biological evolution on Earth. Most species, including the dinosaurs, became extinct in a very short period of time. And while we're grateful for that event, we would like to prevent the next mass extinction. Radar astronomy plays a critical role in studies of near-Earth asteroids, and especially in the context of the asteroid impact risk. The first important contribution of radar is that it enables considerable improvements to asteroid trajectory predictions. Radar measurements allow us to locate an asteroid with superb precision, about a thousand times better than optical measurements. With these measurements, we can dramatically increase the interval of reliable trajectory predictions. For instance, without radar measurements, you might be able to accurately predict the path of an asteroid over a period of 90 years, with about 50 of those years in the future. With the addition of radar measurements, the interval of reliable trajectory predictions increases to 400 years, which is four times as long, and with about 200 of those years in the future. This gives us a much longer warning time should we have to mitigate against a potential impact. The second important role of radar astronomy in the asteroid impact hazard has to do with the physical characteristics of the potential impactor. Perhaps the most crucial thing we would want to know is whether we're dealing with one, two, or even three objects. Radar instruments have a unique ability to diagnose binary and triple asteroids, and this knowledge is essential for impact hazard mitigation efforts, or any kind of spacecraft proximity operations. Then we would want to get the best possible description of the potential impactor. We would want to know as much as we can about the size, spin, shape, mass, density, and porosity of the potential impactor. Radar observations provide the most realistic ground-based prospects of securing estimates of all of these quantities. This is not only useful in the impact hazard context, but also for sending astronauts to asteroids, or even for mining asteroids. With optical telescopes, asteroids appear as unresolved points of light. Radar observations allow us to obtain images of asteroids with very high resolution, 10 meters or better. With a sequence of such images, we can create three-dimensional shape models. Overall, radar astronomy provides an exquisite description of near-Earth asteroids. We use two facilities to make these observations. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico is the largest telescope on Earth. It's 300 meters across, and it's equipped with a megawatt transmitter. We also use the Goldstone antenna in the Mojave Desert in California, and that antenna is 70 meters across and is equipped with a 450 kilowatt transmitter. Now, there are only about 10 people on this planet who routinely perform radar observations of asteroids, and we feel very fortunate to count four of them as current or former members of our research group. We have detected over 400 near-Earth asteroids with radar so far. Last year, we detected over 60. Our research efforts at UCLA include the physical characterization of asteroids, orbit computations for binaries and triples, astrometric measurements with radar, determination of Yarkovsky drift. We're also building hardware and writing software for acquiring radar data. We're also training the next generation of radar astronomers. And we're building a database of all these asteroid radar results that is publicly available. To learn more about the power of radar astronomy to characterize asteroids and their trajectories, go to radarastronomy.org. You will find additional information on how radar can help protect our planet and facilitate the future exploration of asteroids.